welcome back to the channel. A bunch of people, maybe one or two, have been asking in the comments about 300 Blackout. This is my 300 Blackout. It is a Spikes Tactical, primarily. We've got a SB at PDW on the back. Other than that, pretty much all Spikes Tactical. Uh, ten and a half inch barrel and the reason I haven't had it on the channel like I mentioned is I didn't have an optic I stole this for my Competition rifle and then I just got this vortex crossfire So this was my truck gun until I lost the optic and then I, it's been in the safe ever since uh, I just got a through night Flashlight that they sent to me that I need to do a review on so well, that'll be coming, but um, just check check out the snowflake pretty dope so uh, Spikes Tactical is a Florida company. I like to support Florida companies. And one of the questions that I have for myself is how different are regular 300 blackout versus subsonic 300 blackout with no suppressor? So this is not suppressed uh, rifle. It's just a can on the front, like a flash can muzzle brake. So we're gonna put five rounds through the chronograph. This is arm score. 147 green that I purchased a while ago at Bass or Rural King. We're gonna see what the speeds are, and then I might do it through the gel. It probably go right through. We'll see depending on the speed. So five shots, 300 blackout through the chronograph. Arm score 147 green. So, pretty consistent speeds with the with the arm score. So we're going to load up some subsonic. These are Winchester open tip range, 200 grain. We're going to load these up and see what the difference in speed is. All right, got the Winchester 200 grain, 300 blackout subsonic open tip. Optimized for suppressor use, reduced noise, subsonic, encapsulated bullet base, consistent accuracy. This says muzzle is 1060 feet per second. We're close to the muzzle. Let's see. Ten twenty two. Didn't cycle. Ten thirty four. Didn't cycle. So using using subsonic through this, the buffer spring is not right for this gun, 1054. So there's not enough pressure. 1070. So there's not enough pressure with the buffer to uh, cycle it. So that's uh, no good. So, so it didn't it didn't even lock back on the last one. So there isn't enough pressure. The bullet's not generating enough speed to cycle the gun properly. So using subsonic 300 blackout out of a regular non-suppressed 300 blackout, I would not recommend at all because it turns your perfectly operable. 300 blackout into a bolt gun. So that's not good, especially in home defense situations. So you definitely need a suppressor if you're gonna shoot suppressed. Small sample size, but you can't argue with uh, results. So this is unloaded. That's gonna do it for this one. Don't shoot suppressed 300 blackout out of a non-suppressed gun, it won't work. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.